bit of a revisit in this video. A while ago I uh, put out a video where I used an um, air conditioning vent pipe as a uh, loading coil for a, a quarter wave vertical, which it was a 40 meter quarter wave vertical. And uh, I managed to load it up on uh, 80 meters. Now, I'll be honest, that video was done in a bit of a rush. It was, it was a bit of a lazy attempt to be honest. I showed it receiving some stations and I keyed up and showed that um, you could get a good SWR but I didn't really uh, test it to see how well it would work. Now I've had a bit of an opportunity to come up here. We use um, JS8 as part of our Raynet group. Uh, usually on 80 meters there's a small group of us run it more or less 24 7 and uh, we tend to use it as a bit of an email link really. We just type the odd uh, message here and there and uh, just click send and then uh, check it a couple of times a day. Now, last night, um, the uh, SFI dropped so low that um, 80 meters, the link on 80 meters basically stopped working, so the messages weren't getting through. So the suggestion somebody's come up with is, can we use 160 meters? Now, I'm in a three-bedroom mid-terrace. So I don't have a lot of space for uh, low-band antennas. So I, I sat down and thought, how am I going to get around this? And then it occurred to me. I've got a quarter wave vertical for 40 meters outside in the garden. Can I use a bigger loading coil and do what I did for 80 meters, but actually load it up for 160 meters? So that's the ambition for tonight. That's what I'm going to try tonight. I'm going to, uh, I haven't got one single coil that's long enough. I, I don't think it'll get enough inductance, but I've got several smaller coils. So, uh, it's going to be a bit gash. I'm going to end up joining the coils together and uh, we'll see if we can get it working on 160 metres. So uh, let's uh, go outside. I'll take the cameras outside and I'll show you the setup outside. Outside in the back garden, here's a quarter wave vertical for 40 metres, which uh, is actually tuned on 40. And if we look at the base of the antenna down here, I have a one-to-one uh, -one ballon and I've got my antenna analyzer connected to it at the moment. Uh, for the radial field I've got my uh, loop counterpoise which you saw, you saw in a previous video. Uh, ground rod there and uh, a couple of air conditioning vent pipes which I've put together and loaded up as a coil and I've already tuned this. I, uh, had to extend and shrink this one slightly to adjust it to get the best SWR. And then on my antenna analyzer, you can see there we're, oops, it's gone to sleep. So there we go, if I uh, adjust it about um, 1.84, 1.85 is where all the digital modes are on 160 meters. And you can see there we're, uh, one to one, um, one point one, one point two to one. So uh, we've got good coverage over the portion of the band that I actually want to use. Right, I've been running a whisper test. I've got up on my screen here. Uh, it's been going for about an hour now. One sixty meters is a nighttime band, really. So I'm not expecting wonders during the day. But first impressions, it seems to be working, but. The results are a little bit strange because if we look at the whisper test now uh, the green dots are the uh, stations that have received me that have heard basically the stations that have heard my signal and the red dots are the stations that i have heard now first impression is it seems to be getting out um, a lot better than it's receiving because you notice i've got uh stations certainly around the UK that are hearing me and uh, further abroad across other parts of Europe as well although not so much um, but I can only actually hear two stations coming back to me so I'm not quite sure what to make of this it's a bit of a strange one I'm not sure how many of these other stations I receive only or are actually transmitting so this should be interesting now I want to try this at night time because as I say 160 meters is a nighttime band so I think the plan of action is I'm going to leave it there for now and come back to this a bit later on tonight 
and uh, I'll do another whisper test, I don't know, maybe about 9, 10 o'clock tonight once it's got dark and uh, we'll uh, we'll see how it performs at night time. It's, it's curious because normally my antennas um, seem to receive better than they transmit, but it's almost the other way around. So I'm, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. This uh, This should be interesting. Well, it turns out that it is in fact possible to get on 160 metres with a... Um, frankly quite a small garden I mean I've got what probably around five meters per five meters or six meters per six meters not you know not particularly big garden it's your average size mid terrace and uh, check my uh, loop on the ground counterpoise uh, video to see how I got the uh, ground system in but uh, that works fine on 40 meters I, I didn't hold out a lot of hope for this on 160 meters if I'm brutally honest um, but putting a loading coil on it from an air conditioning unit of all things um, I was able to load it up on 160 meters and well there's the uh, whisper plot I mean I, I didn't hold out a lot of hope from the uh, whisper plot I got during the day um, earlier today but 160 meters is a nighttime band so during the day, strangely enough, I seem to be get um, been heard by other stations, but I didn't seem to be uh, hearing an awful lot. But uh, come night time, and like I say, 160 meters is a nighttime band. It's really opened up for me. And well, there's the uh, whisper plot. Um, my signal's getting out. I'm talking all over uh, the UK and. Um, probably over a good portion of Europe as well so there you go if you don't have a lot of space you can still get on 160 meters if you can get a 10 meter uh, vertical up a quarter way for 40 meters you can have 40 meters and 160 meters just with a loading coil and uh, I suspect I tried it once before and managed to get it to tune but I didn't really properly test it but I suspect you could do this on 80 meters as well so uh, there you go, having a small garden doesn't necessarily exclude you from uh, getting on uh, 40 metres, 80 metres, 160 metres. Um, you can do the low bands. How good this will be on Envis? Questionable, frankly, but uh, you can still have a little bit of fun with it. And, uh, well, like I say, you've, uh, you've seen my whisper plots, so uh, you draw your own conclusions. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.